Welcome guys to a brand new video on solo leveling arise. In today's video, we are going to be focusing on artifacts. I'm going to be going over the best artifacts in the game. So not only including the, you know, the headpiece, the chest piece, the arms and the legs, but also taking a look at the bracelet, the necklace, the rings and the earrings as well. So I'm going to be going over the best artifacts in general in this game. Now, obviously you guys, well, I'm hoping you guys saw my last video. I went over the best build for every single SSR characters or every single SSR Hunter in the game. So go ahead and check that video out. Um, very, very helpful so that you guys can know how to build your characters. Now, in terms of artifacts, one thing I would like to say is that in general, certain content, you might want to switch out your artifacts or if you have a specific blessings, your artifacts that you want to build your characters with might actually um, change as well. So blessing stones are very, very useful and, uh, and important as well. But you guys might not have the best blessings right now. But if you guys have blessings like um, this one, Demon Slayer, which basically increases your mana, it allows you to actually use a specific artifact so that you don't feel any negative effects from it. So yeah taking into a uh, fact uh, taking into account the um blessing stones as well i will talk about why certain artifacts are also very very good to have as well so let's get right into it before i carry on with the video guys don't forget to like and subscribe stay tuned for more content on solo leveling arise if you guys enjoyed this video then go ahead and click the like button to show your support to the channel and uh, stay tuned for more content let's get to 60 likes in today's video and uh yeah stay tuned for more content on solo leveling arise i am loving this game i am enjoying this game this game is absolutely insane so of course i'm going to be making more content on the game so let's take a look at the different artifacts available in the game now the best ones in my opinion i'm going to talk about them so destroyer in my opinion is one of the best artifacts in the game especially for your supportive characters so in general every supportive character can actually just run be run with this um, artifact because it increases your power gauge acquisition rate by 20 percent and as a four set at the start of battle power gauge is increased by 50 percent or you start with 50 percent and increases the player and the party's power acquisition rate by 20 percent and i do believe this stacks so you can actually keep increasing the power gauge acquisition rate by a lot now this is a very very good art uh, artifact next up we have this one this is specifically good uh, with one specific character that we have currently right now but this is genuinely good as well increasing basic attack damage by 18 percent this is for units that you know basic attack is the core main like damage dealing ability you guys might be thinking this is not that great but for a character like um him lim tegu it, it works really well with him because most of his skills damage or most of the damage are locked within his basic attack now this skill attack as well is also really good to deal damage but in general you're going to be normal attacking a lot more often um and then you also have to use your ultimates as well and the reason why this artifact is extremely good is because at four set you increase your core damage by 80 percent and when the attack hits charge core gauge by 60 as well because he wants a increasing his attack and he also wants a way to you know gain a lot of or he wants to do his ultimate as often as possible that makes that set actually really really good for him so far that's the best one for him i don't know if there's any other character that would actually benefit from that um you know core attack being the focus but that is really a good set for that specific character but for other characters it might not be the best set to go with so it's a decent set really only good for one character right now but very very good um the next one we have a basic increase in attack now in general i wouldn't really say this is the best set to use for many characters it does just give you a flat increase in attack so you can use it with some of the attackers in the game uh well actually the one of the best characters you can use this with is with um trojan in because he does not crit so this is why it's a really good set for him he just focuses on attack stat all he wants is attack stat so you can go with this to increase his overall attack stat in general now if you're going to be using him in your okay if you, you're going doing content with player so your song jin Wu, and he's your supportive character you can technically switch out his build a little bit instead of using the attack build you can go with the destroyer set which i just previously talked about so uh, he becomes a supportive character but do note he's going to be using a special skill which does do quite a bit of damage as well but he also helps applies some um, 
defense down which is great as well so you can go with a support build for him if you're only going to be using him as a support character for your song Jin rule but if you like hunter content where you can only use hunters then you will have to switch his build out to solely focus on attack and i do think this is this is a really good build for him um but many other characters might not really actually want this you know th that build in general or actually you can switch out his build for another build which i will show you guys right now uh, and that artifact is actually really good as well um sorry go back okay so the next one over here is this so yeah you can actually build him with this as well his alt is actually really really good in terms of dps now if you're going to give him this build the rest of your characters if you're doing hunter content must have the destroyer set instead so that you can actually increase the power acquisition gauge so that you can consistently do his ultimate so yeah this is a really good build as well you can also give this to your song jin Wu to be honest so if you're playing content where you're, play, you're, you're you have song jin Wu or you have to use song jin Wu and the three other hunters are your support character you can actually give this to song jin Wu and your other uh hunters can actually run the power acquisition gear which is the this one over here um you can run with this instead um i believe with the 50 when it says at the, when the battle starts you should start with 50 percent of your gauge that is only for the hunter equipping this not for your song jin Wu. so if you give this to your hunters song jin Wu shouldn't actually start with that 50 percent it's only for that hunter um but you do get that increased acquisition rate so if your, your other hunters have it so three hunters have it that is two four six that's increasing your power acquisition rate by uh for 60 percent which is really really good then you can work on this set instead so it's a really good set as well in my opinion next up we have the hp set now okay characters there are characters that scales off hp to deal damage we have a character like emma who needs needs her hp to deal damage however you can also use her with break however support supportive characters that heal generally run with hp so we do have uh two support characters right now in the game with that so we have Min Bongu as well as Lee Jo E so you can take that skills off HP for the heals you can technically build him with HP to increase his healing as you can see however you can actually just focus on power acquisition instead like I, like I mentioned as well but that HP set is generally not bad but as you can see it's only going to increase your HP by 8% so it's not much but he does actually help your characters deal increased damage but it's only for attack percentage so this is generally only going to be useful for characters that scales off the attack which right now in this game there is two main damage dealers that scales off attack which is Troy Jin In and Lee Tae Gu maybe in the future well in the future definitely we get more characters that scales off attack the issue with the HP set is the fact that it only helps you guys if you want attack stats which if you're building a team um, and then none of them actually scales of attack this will not be a useful set even if it increases your healing for that character the second part of the fourth set isn't going to be useful at all so um yeah take that as you will so it's a good set but not the best in my opinion for supportive characters um, next up we have the shield now i do think this shield uh, gear is or artifact is really good for one specific character we have right now um which is Seo, which I don't have, or Seo, 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 Seo Jiwu. The reason why I say that is because if you're using her with, um, uh, what's his name, Song Jin Wu, Song Jin Wu, sorry, and she's your support character, you're using a support skill and she basically gives you a shield and she is a break character. You can technically focus on a different build for her, but I think that shield is generally only useful for her, to be honest, because she's the only one that applies shield right now. But it doesn't make the artifact that bad it only makes it like not great for everyone but it's still a good artifact that you can use for her so um yes it's a bit niche but you can actually see the effectiveness of this so the shield effect is increased by 30 percent so she um co actually gives you a 10 percent uh shield 10 percent shield that scales off her hp and when it says the shield effect is increased by 30 percent i'm guessing it means instead of 10 percent increases it by 30 percent so it's 40 percent shield instead that's what i'm understanding from the two set and then from the four set when a team member including 
and player activates a shield, it increases damage dealt. It doesn't say increases attack, increases HP, it says damage dealt. So this is actually useful for any characters that scales off attack or defense when it comes to damage dealers. So right now we have damage dealers that scales off attack, but in the future we will get more damage dealers that scales off defense and their damage might be good and it makes them even tanky as well. Then this will actually still continue to be good for characters that provide shield because at the end of the day, they do give you guys a buff for your damage. So I do think this is a niche artifact, but it's really good for one specific character right now. Next up, we have the break run. I used to think this is something I wanted to run with my characters, but honestly, I have changed my idea on this gear. I do think it's useful for breaking characters. However, not every single character in this game um, or every single enemy has a break meter. So since the fact that if you want to switch gears or artifacts in this game, it costs gold, I wouldn't recommend you guys building your characters with full sets of break at the moment since it's not going to be useful for every content you go into. So it's better to just run them with either power acquisition set that helps your team in general rather than just focusing on the set that's only useful for one content. However, in the future, as we get more gold and switching artifact becomes the normal thing to do because I do think we need to switch artifact depending on the contents we are in just like how we switch our skills and how sometimes we will have to switch our blessing stones as well then I think it's going to be a really good set that you can use against enemies that regenerates their break meter so in general this will be a good um, break set but right now not the go-to one to go for uh, next up we have the crit rate and crit damage um, not bad not a bad set um if there's a character that has insanely high crit well they they want to crit like let's say there's an ability that crits that would when it crits they, they gain a specific ability then i think this is really good um this can be useful for song jin Wu as well uh, to increase his crit rate even further and his crit damage even further especially with my current build for him if you go over to my current build for my song jin Wu, i focused on agility and perception but agility basically helps the crit rate and crit damage so my crit rate and crit damage is as you can see 45 percent giving him an artifact that allows him to crit and you know perform better crit damage that would definitely be useful so in general i think this is also a good set as well um so yeah i have nothing bad to say about the set and I believe that is it for that section, that left side of the artifacts. Now going over to the right side of the artifacts, we have specific um, specific artifacts. Now this one over here is actually very good. Now many people say, well, you're going to increase your MP consumption by 20%, so it's bad. But it's actually very, very good. So, so far I'm using this set on my Trojan Inn. And since his damage from his skills are insanely good, if you take a look at it, look at the percentage value, it is insanely high. Um... You do want to give him an artifact like this, which increases skill MP consumption, that's fine, by 20%, but increases damage dealt by 18%, and cooldown reduction is also 18%. That is really, really good. However, as you can see from the set I have, I do have MP consumption reduction on all of them. So therefore, I don't really feel the effect of increasing skill MP cost by 20%. Um, it, it doesn't really matter to me. Now, if you take a look at blessings as well, if you have this blessing this uh, then that, that artifact is going to be really good so if i go over to blessing stones um right here so the demon slayer blessing which increases your mana by 1000 is extremely extremely good plus if you have another blessing like mana rampage where is it over here which increases uh your attack is increased by 60 percent but your mana consumption rate is 16 percent increase that's fine we also have reawakening as well that pairs extremely well with that set as well your skill cooldown will also be decreased by further 20 percent so therefore that skill oh sorry that artifact is actually really really good um but you do need to get to, okay i i do i not notice any of the downside of this skill uh of this artifact sorry simply because i do have the mana reduction uh consumption substats but if you guys are worried about this issue on top just wait for you to get wait to get that artifact or get, get that blessed stone and you should be fine so in general this is a really good artifact um even with that downside it doesn't matter especially if you have that blessing stone and the next one we have is this one now i have an issue with this artifact it does help you guys with attack for your teams but not every character scales off attack so right now i use this set on my um 
on him on my mink bonk Q. the issue though is that this set is only going to be useful so the team i run is with emma troy Jin in and him the only issue with this set is that only him scales off of attack so therefore this will not be really that beneficial for all my teammates so when tagging out increasing the attack of you and your team members by 12 percent um for 10 seconds so it's good if you scale off attack um increase attack incre uh, increase attack increase effects to 28 percent so yeah it's good for my my troy but not good for my emma so in general it's a really good set if in the future we get more amazing dps character that scales off attack then obviously this will continue to be an amazing amazing set but it might not uh yeah, yeah, it's a really good set for like support characters in general, actually. Support characters, this is probably the go-to one. Um, next up, we have when landing a crit rate has a 25% chance. This is good if you have a really high crit rate for your characters. Um, I have this set on my Song Jin Woo because like I said, I focused, focused on the crit rate. So it's a really, really good set. The issue is though, it's, it's RNG. So increase activation rate by 50%. So just because you crit doesn't mean you're going to be increasing your attack. However, from what I've noticed, every time I use Song Jin Woo and I have this set, I've been able to get like 80 stacks of this, 87 stacks. So 87 times 1.6, let me go ahead and show, do the calculation right now to figure out how much um, attacks and buff I'm getting. So uh, 87 times 1.6, I get a 139% boost to my attack. So this is a really good stat. Yeah, really good, um, what's it called? Um, artifact honestly even if there's a 50% chance of this activating it's still really really good some of the best ones for your damage dealers uh, that, that scales off attack so Song Jin Woo this is the best one for Song Jin Woo next up we have one where if the user has 50% uh, or less HP the damage is increased by 50% Four set is 70% instead of 50% and the damage increases 30% now generally this is good however this is scaling off your your hunter's hp which in general as you get stronger in this game it's gonna be very okay you don't want your characters to lose hp guys so honestly this set i think it's good it's useful especially early on because you are going to be losing a bunch of hp um but in general this one i would rather say is better yes the increase in damage isn't 30 percent it's 20 percent but this scales off the enemy's hp so it's a lot better than your own hp so I have an issue with this because it scales off your own HP. So I would rather run this honestly on my characters compared to this one. So in terms of which ones are the better one, I would go with this one because it scales off the enemy's attack. Uh, scales off the enemy's HP rather than your own. Um, so yeah, in general, you don't want to even lose HP. You don't want to lose a lot of HP. 70% loss on, uh, sorry, 30% loss on HP is generally high. So, and you might even, you know, use better supportive characters in the future that helps with shielding and healing. So, therefore, you don't lose that much HP. So, in general, this is just better to have. Um, increase attack by 5% for 4 seconds. Um, stacks up to 4 times. So, 5, 10, 15, 20% increase in attack. Um, not bad, not bad. But, like I said, if you can consistently crit, I would say that this one is better. So, it's not a bad uh, artifact, though. And there we go with me reviewing all the artifacts in the game. So I really do like this artifact, even with the mana consumption. I feel like in the future, damage dealers that's, that their, their main damage source is from the skills will actually want to run this artifact. Um, some people, yeah, some damage dealers will want to run this artifact. Um, the two best ones for damage dealer is the expert and the concentration of fire power, in my opinion, for damage dealers. And like I mentioned, yes that there's a downside of mp consumption rate but if you get this it's going to be really good so you can obtain the title demon slayer you have to obtain the demon slayer title how do i obtain the demon slayer title actually let me let me see that um huh i'm gonna have to figure out how to do that because i definitely want that wait let me see go over to artifacts no demon slayer title how do i get titles very confusing at the moment is it this one maybe it's not introduced into the game just yet this is a job change right no titles um is it from here there's no title section actually 
Okay, I've got to understand how to get that Demon Slayer title. Once I do, I will be able to get that um, that really, really good um, Blessing Stone. That would be really good. So I need to research on that, actually. And then I'll make a video if I figure it out. Anyways, that is it for the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more content on Solo Leveling and Rise. There, uh, I will make more videos on the Blessing Stones and some of the other content in the game. So stay tuned for that. It's been your boy, AC Gamer, and I'm out.